always room for growth. There's always room for more in your story. Of royalty in the studi Yay. studio today, we have Miss South Carolina Greenville native Jada Samuel live here in studio. <gasps> yes, so exciting. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Thank you for joining Thank us. Thank you for having me today. It's so exciting that you're from this area too. Mm -hmm. Yes, there hasn't been a Miss South Carolina from the Upstate in a minute, so it means a lot. I'm yes. excited. Yes. Oh yeah. my gosh, yeah. we love that. And and Jada, has the has the wind really sunk in for you at this point? Now you're a few days removed. I think <laughs> after. After the 50th time someone's asked me that, I think that now <laughs> it's starting to sink in like, okay, I've been busy. So yeah, I'm yeah. in South Carolina. I, about to say, I think we have some video oh to show gosh. of you being crowned right there. Oh my and goodness. this was on Sunday. So it, it was only a few days ago. Yeah, Saturday night. It was or a good sa time. Saturday <laughs> night. Yeah, yeah. What, what was that experience like for you? I mean, to see your face in these pictures in those moments, um, just pure joy, but actually hearing your name called and, and through that competition, going through all the hard work, uh, what was that moment specifically like you for know, you? You know, after competing for five years in a row, you don't know what to expect going in. This is something that you can't predict. It's five people's opinions, and you don't right. know if you're going to walk away with the crown or not. So I think in the moment, I just blanked. Like, it was yeah. one of those things where I was like, oh my gosh is this real is this happening and it was so I just tried to enjoy it all and soak it up and you grew up here in the upstate tell us a little bit about how you found out about the competition I understand you were 21 when yeah. you found out which uh, most people enter these competitions when they're a little bit younger and and tell us what high school you went to as well. Absolutely. I went to Southside High School and I did speech and debate there. And um, I had the opportunity to go and witness my cousin compete mm -hmm. in a different system in a state pageant. And I think I got the pageant bug after that. <laughs> I wanted to go and compete in a state pageant. So I did it as a teen and then mm -hmm. took a break all four years of college. And then I came back to the Miss America organization, which was a different system for me. And I was so interested in the service aspect of the organization right. and the scholarship work aspect of the organization of course I mean I walked away with sixty thousand wow. dollars from Saturday night and a total of 85 after my participation over the last five years so that aspect is so important and, and that's what drew me to the organization yeah, so there's so many ways to give back as mm -hmm. well and uh, specifically this is really neat it's historic the fourth black woman to hold this title in Miss as Miss South Carolina and the oldest yes. title winner too at 26. <laughs> not um, really old. I know not old at all but I mean to have those accomplishments I know this means so much to you also what does this mean to your family I know your grandma you are very close with her and she was really excited. Yes for you. I had the opportunity at the end of the runway when I took the runway to just recognize her at home watching. My family has been so supportive over the years. My parents, they've mm -hmm. given me so many opportunities to go back and do this. So it's been a journey for all of us. And this was kind of the culmination of that journey, just to walk away with I this hope crown. I picked her to win. <laughs> <laughs> our, our traffic <laughs> anchor said he picked you. Oh, you were, you were his from choice. the start, you were his choice. <laughs> I, thank you, thank you. Pick, I, I'm Chris. so grateful for the people that did pick me and, yeah. and root for me. It was yeah. a really incredible feeling to hear my name being called. And why was this such an important moment for your grandmother to see you win? Oh, I mean, she t always talks about growing up in the segregated South. Mm -hmm. And so women like her didn't have the opportunity to compete at my age. So just being able to get up on the stage and be, you know, my ancestors' wildest dreams right. was something that mattered to me. And I wanted to share that. Oh. Yeah. such a big moment incredible Absolutely. experience for you and for your family and yes. now yeah. the work begins it right does. it so does explain what that what that looks like yeah. now up until you go and compete in miss america in january right so i'll be implementing my community service initiative which is i shape me empowering girls to lead through mentorship so actually had someone come along with me today um, when i had the opportunity to speak to a girl group that i meet with on wednesdays oh. um Very so cool. it was really exciting to be able to to come in my sash and crown and and we talked about just owning your story and believing in yourself and that's something that I want to to carry with me throughout the year when I go on school tours and college tours and all of those things so those are the things that will happen leading up to Miss America for sure oh wow yeah, lots so of community exciting. work and just being an inspiration for those young girls out there absolutely yeah. that's the goal <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh. Oh. How fun is this, Kendra? I love it. We have our chief meteorologist <laughs> in with us now. And we have an all girls show, except for Chris. Do. Sorry, Chris. Mm -hmm. we, he's sitting <laughs> out, out over there. Chris. It's I just, a, just us girls. Female power. Yes, we girl do. power. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. We love that. I tell you, it's, it is such an exciting time for you, and we're excited you could be here today with us. Thank this you. I'm awesome. so happy to be back home. Yeah. It's just, it's yeah. really cool to be back home in my hometown, and my family gets to watch this. So yeah, this is awesome. what I'm saying. Yeah, on their local TV, right not yes. like they have to find it on the internet or right. something. Yeah. Right. Um, no, oh. the, the best. And, and yes. don't go anywhere because we're going to have more with Jada a little mm -hmm. bit later in the show. She's actually going to join us on the desk. Yes. Yeah. She's going to replace me <laughs> yeah. in the spot. We're going to talk uh, some news. present the news for you guys. So. Yeah. Can't wait. Very Stay tuned.